Hello and welcome, dear valued participants. Today, we are going to talk about cybersecurity culture. This topic is of particular importance, since in the end, the culture of a company is defined by its employees, and you are also one of them. Of course, we are here to learn more about cybersecurity. So we will figure out what cybersecurity culture means and how you can influence it. Furthermore, this will help you to understand and fulfill the respective requirements in ISO SAE 21434. So enjoy our video and let's get started. First, let's see what you're going to learn in this video. You will be able to outline the different aspects of a cybersecurity culture. You will be capable of describing the benefits of having a good cybersecurity culture. And last but not least, you will be able to identify practices of good and poor cybersecurity culture in your daily work. You might ask yourself now, why is a video about cybersecurity culture important to me? Well, cybersecurity culture is a quite open topic without detailed explanations or definition. So, this video helps to ensure a common understanding within your company and project. Additionally, cybersecurity culture concerns everybody and influences how we work and behave. And in the end, Poor cybersecurity culture usually leads to unsecure products and missing compliance to ISO SAE 21434. Let's start with the simple question, what cybersecurity culture means? Therefore, we divide this term into three areas. First, cognition and knowledge. That contains the employee's awareness, knowledge, and beliefs regarding cybersecurity. Second, behaviors. That describes how to handle and respond to cybersecurity topics. And third, attitudes. This characterizes the feeling and emotions of the employees about cybersecurity risks. Or in simple words, what employees know, how they act, and what they feel. So, cybersecurity culture can be understood as addressing cybersecurity sufficiently in all three aspects to make an integral part of employees' work and habits so that it is more than just pushing policies, rules, and standards. Just to be clear, a good cybersecurity culture is not needed because the ISO SAE 21434 requires it. There are numerous benefits for companies and employees. Starting from maintaining a valuable organizational culture rather than attempting to force secure behavior. It helps to change the employee's mindset and foster security awareness. Additionally, it boosts risk perceptions and helps you in the end to create stronger customer trust and loyalty. And last but not least, cybersecurity culture helps the organization to have a proactive approach towards cybersecurity. To make it a little more descriptive, we will now look at a few examples provided from the Annex B of ISO SAE 21434 to see how good and poor cybersecurity culture occurs. If we consider accountability, good or poor culture can be identified if cybersecurity, but also functional safety or product design decisions are traceable and reproducible or not. Looking at product performance, the differentiation can be made by the often discussed questions. What is more important, cost and schedule or safety and security? 
For project planner and managers, they ask themselves how the required resources are planned. Are skilled resources allocated suitably with the assigned activities, or is it just a firefighting mode? Also, based on the continuous improvement process, good and poor cybersecurity culture can be identified. Are the failures from the past taken into account to improve the procedure, or are lessons learned just paperwork? So you see, there are many examples of cybersecurity culture, and more are provided by the standard. But what should we do if we detect signs of poor cybersecurity culture? In the end, we are all part of our company and projects. Therefore, we all have the responsibility to contribute to cybersecure products. So closing the eyes is not an option. If you discover something, raise your hand. Talk about it with the respective colleague, your manager or your global cybersecurity responsible. Or if all else fails, contact the compliance helpline, which you can do anonymously. And make it better. Act as a role model for others. Make clear notes in meeting minutes who made what decision. Remind colleagues about this video when they see maybe just the dollar signs. When you put together a team for any task, proactively ask them if they need any training or coaching. To sum up what you have learned, first, you should remember that cybersecurity culture is more than just pushing policies and standards. Second, cybersecurity culture helps build trust, external with your clients, but also internal with your colleagues. Third, cybersecurity culture is part of the mindset everyone needs to internalize, which also includes you. So keep in mind, Everyone can be part of a change. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.